description. Yes, asante ni sana wa Kenya. Kwa mara nyingine tena mimi ni Brenda Kangai. Mimi ni msichana wa Mlima Kenya, ukitaka the daughter of the mountain na acting women representative Nairobi County na hiyo kazi nafanya na naisukuma sana sana kabla wananchi wanipatie kazi ya women rep Nairobi County 2027 Today I want to speak to my Mount Kenya people I am doing this video specifically to the Mount Kenya people na watu wa taifa la Kenya mniambie kama nitakuwa nimeambia watu wa Mount Kenya ukweli ama nawadanganya Mimi watu wa Mount Kenya nawaambia hivi Anytime utawahi ona mtu ana abuse ndugu yako, baba yako ama mtu ambaye umetoka kwa community the same, huyo ni adui yenu. And especially the person who is abusing your kingpin. I want to clear and say this. Uhuru was the former president of Kenya. But to the people of Mount Kenya, Uhuru is the kingpin. Ndiye baba wa watu wa Mlima Kenya. So nyinyi Kenyans mnamuona kama your fourth president sisi tunamuona kama baba wa mlima and that is why i am addressing the people of the mountain any time you see somebody abusing your kingpin that person is the enemy of that tribe and i want to say this kabla niendelee sana any person who is going to deal with uhuru kumu abuse we will treat that person as the enemy of mount kenya and I want to say this. Watu wa Mlima Kenya tuache kukua watu wa Pumba. So there is a high percentage of Mount Kenya people ambao wamefungua akili wakaona Zakayo alikuwa anawadanganya kwa sababu wao ni watu wa dwaki. Akaenda kwa mabiashara zao akaita watu wa mikokoteni, watu wa mawilbaro, sijui mama mboga, watu wa kuuza mende akawadanganya. Sasa hizi nimeona wamefungua akili. Lakini kuna ka percentage ka watu wanajiita leaders ati wa Mount Kenya ambao wanataka kuona uhuru akikuwa abused. Mimi nataka kuwauliza kama uhuru Kenyatta alikuwa pamoja na huyu Zakayo 2013. Na Zakayo akamtenga. Na saizi anadharau na kumdhurumu uhuru. Au sure you gachieda and Zakayo hata kwa sana. I want to ask you guys here, how sure are you? Hautakosana na Zakayo. Na ukuje kutulilia hapa tuku defend. Mimi I am not supporting hatred in Mount Kenya. Watu wa Mount Kenya tumeishi as one. Hakuna mtu ambaye ashaitenganisha watu wa Mount Kenya. Let not our step father come from Sugoi akuje kututenganisha. We will live as people of Mount Kenya with love and unity. And I was speaking to the youth of the mountain. Musiitikie kutenganishwa. Mtu kama anataka ku spread chuki peleke kwake kwa Badict community. But in Mount Kenya we will live with unity and love. And I want to say when we speak about the first family of this country, Mama Ngina Kinyata is not an ordinary person. Ni mwanzilishi wa taifa la Kenya. Alipigania demokrasia ya Kenya pamoja na bwanake and we are demanding respect for that woman we are not begging we are demanding respect for mama ngina kenyata kwa sababu kudharau the first family ni kudharau the entire community of mount kenya but i'm saying this if you feel you are superior enough wadharau but know that you will be treated by the people of mount kenya as an enemy as an enemy zile shida ambazo zina face wa Kenya pia zina face watu wa Mount Kenya and that why we are coming out and speaking mimi sina duka yangu ambayo nanunua unga chip sina mali nanunua petroli chip when other Kenyans are suffering i'm also suffering when other Kenyans are struggling i'm also struggling and that is why i'm speaking shida zetu kama wa Kenya ni common Haipaswi kukua ti uhuru akiongea na ongelelea kwa sababu ya nini watu wa mlima. Na uhuru father moja hii ingililia nini? Hajawahi ingililia hii government. Uhuru hajakosa pesa ya kununua unga. Uhuru hajakosa pesa ya kununua petroli. Uhuru hakuna kitu amekosa. Sisi wa Kenya ndio tunaumia ni sisi tunaongea. Hakuna mahali uhuru alitoka akasema yeye amekosa chakula. 
We as Kenyans, we are struggling. Sisi ndo tunatoka maandamano. And I want to tell you on Wednesday, we will be out again and again. Tutatoka hii maandamano. Adi kieleweke. Hadi haki za wakenya zisikike. Adi sisi wenyewe kama wakenya, tupunguziwe garame ya maisha. Sa hii school fees iko juu, petroli iko juu. Ndiyo hii usikani mefika almost miyatano. Ndiyo hii everything it's I. Lakini sisi tukiongea tunakuja kudhurumiwa. Shuali. Shuali. Kenyans, where are we going? Watu wa mlima Kenya. It is up to you to decide kama mtaungana na community zingine wakipigania haki na demokrasia ya wa Kenya ama mjitenge. Na mkijitenga sijui mtajitenga kwa sababu gani na nyinyi mnaumia wa Kenya wengine wakiumia. Hebu tuongeeni na voice moja. Hakuna mkenya ambaye aumii saa hii. Na mimi nataka kukuaddress wewe William Ruto. Punguzia wa Kenya gharama ya maisha na hakuna mtu utapata kwa street. Sisi mimi nikijua kuna unga ya mia, nikijua petroli imeshuka, school fees ime, ime, nini, imepunguzwa, nikijua nikienda hospitali wa mama wanapata linda mama, mimi sita andamana. Lakini as long as we are struggling as Kenyans, we will get out of the streets. And for you police officers, don't abuse us, protect us. Because article 37 of the constitution allows us to picket and to demonstrate. So I am speaking to Mount Kenya people. Musikue watu wa jinga, ati baba yenu uhuru anaumizwa hapo and then mnacheka. Mumu protect. Na muti yote ambaye ana abuse uhuru, huyo ni adui yenu. Know that I am saying anybody who is abusing uhuru, mwenye atenda abuse mwangi wa iria, mwenye atenda abuse madhakarua, mwenye ata abuse any leader, hata kama ni huyo akacheza, huyo ni adui yetu. So I am saying we as Mount Kenya people we need to live with peace, love and unity. We need to have unity. Mtu mmoja wetu akijaribu adhurumiwe tunaamka sisi wote. Ni mwaji kuwa. Adwake kwa ni mwaji kuwa. I am speaking to you. And when I speak as the daughter of the mountain, I speak with your authority. Because I come from both Mount Kenya East and Mount Kenya West. I'm an ass of Kiambu County and Tarakanithi County. I have to speak. I come from both part of mountain. Mimi nitaongea kama msitano wa mlima Kenya. Mali tumefinyilua lazima tuongee. Adwake ya mbune nyo darera. Muisikie vizuri sana. Hii serekali natumiza. Garame maisha iko juu. Na mtu wa kijaribu kuongea na ni anadhurumiwa. Lakini when it comes to the respect of the first family, lazima mama ngina kenyata aeshimiwe. And we are not begging, we are demanding. Have you heard Gachieva? We are not begging, we are demanding for the respect of the first family. And we are saying they must be respected at all costs. We are saying she must be respected. Ingekua si mama ngina kushikilia buwanake, tungekua na hii nchi kweli. Ama ni wazungu wangekua na tutawala. You know sometimes ni vizuri kukumbuka mali tumetoka kama wa Kenya. Ni na kina nani ya wamefanya inchi ya Kenya. Ikakua inchi. Ni ya kina nani ya wamba wametupiganiya. They are our heroes. And we have to respect them. And I'm asking a 90 year old woman. Atapanga maandamano waje. Anajua nini ya maandamano? Shuali. Mimi naongelesha watu wa mlima Kenya. Mwishi na unity. No hale vikaragosi ambao na jifanya sijua na jua nini na nini Mount Kenya. Sisi generation ya saizi ya tujui chuki. Generation ya saizi we have common problem. Shida zetu ni lack of jobs na garami ya maisha ishuki. Sisi ya tujui mambo na mambo na nani na nani. We have common issues as youth of this country. Sisi ya tutaki kujua vitu mingi. So atiwewe ni leader tuwe ni MP. So what? Founding fathers of the nation. Mamangina Kenyatta, the family, must be respected. Low cost of living, lazima ikuwa hivyo. Na mimi naomba watu wa Mount Kenya next week tujitokeze kwa wingi kwa maandamano. We must say no to impunity. No to bad governance. We must say that the constitution of Kenya, 2010, must be respected. We have to stand. Sisi ndio wafanya biyashara hii Nairobi. Sisi ndio garami ya maisha ikipanda tunaumia. 
lazima tusimame na taifa letu and i think nimemaliza na nikimalizia niseme hivi kuna wale watu ambao wanapigania haki inchi nimeona polisi wanawadhurumu lakini we polisi juu utamshika atatoka lakini at the end of the day utaishi na guilty mbona ulishika huyo mtu poli njoroge nimeona ameshikwa babu owino alishikwa akaachiliwa akiwa na gaucho na wengineo maina njenga tujui mlimpeleka wapi mtu ni kama akijaribu tu kuongea same tatat serikali ni mbaya anahekwa ndani hata mimi mwenyewe najua mtanitafuta lakini i'm telling you this truth must be said we must speak as kenyans we are facing common problems and thank you the members of the press kwa kunipea hii opportunity asanteni sana sana